Hello, this is Rick Castellini with HelpMeRick.com, and I have a tip this week for folks who have slower internet connections, maybe a slow DSL connection, or they're just not ready to step up to DSL, or maybe they still have dial-up, but still want to take advantage of video and audio on the internet. It's a little bit tougher, but I'm going to give you a few little clues today on how to make it maybe just a little bit easier. So we're going to start with the players first. I have two players up, and it works the same with any player. I have Apple QuickTime. QuickTime player is a very commonly used player on the internet to be able to listen to audio or video on different websites. And if you have a slower connection, what I recommend you do is go to Edit, and then Preferences, and then QuickTime Preferences. And when QuickTime Preferences comes up, you want to click on Streaming. Generally, all players are set to automatic, and it'll try to detect what your connection is. My recommendation is to not do that. I want you to select one layer below your current connection. So for example, if you have basic DSL, most basic DSL is 256K, you would, should check 112 as the option. That way, the streaming will come in just a little bit slower, and it'll, have plenty, it'll make it feel like your internet is keeping up with it a lot better. If you have a 512 DSL connection, choose 384 or 256. That just, again, allows that streaming to come in. If you're a dial-up user, do not check, no matter what your connection speed is, do not check anything above this 28.8. And again, you do want to set those if you have the slower speed connections so that you can get a better experience with video and audio on the internet. Windows Media Player does a similar kind of a thing. If you click Tools in Windows Media Player, then Options. Once Options comes up, click Performance. When performance comes up, don't let it detect your connection speed. Choose your connection speed. And again, you'll see the same type of options we saw with the QuickTime. Real player works the same way. Winamp works the same way. Almost any player out there does the same thing. Another trick you can use with flash players that you can't pick your connection speed with is to watch this little red bar, or whatever color it might be, when you're watching a video or listening to audio on the internet. That's giving you the progress of how much of the video or audio has spooled or actually retrieved, has been retrieved from the internet so that you can watch it smoothly. If you're not able to catch up with it, just pull it back. Don't be afraid to click on the little button, pull it back, and start the video again. Or even pause the video. And if you pause the video, let that little guy catch up, maybe go even halfway or further in the video or audio. And then once you start playing, it gives you plenty of time for the audio and the video to stay streamed ahead of the video that you're watching. So that's another little trick, and that works not only here on YouTube, but works on a lot of other players as well, just by clicking the pause. And when you click the pause, that'll allow the streaming to continue happening from your internet connection, and then allow you to watch it a little bit easier. So hopefully some of these tips will get you propelled forward with video and audio, and I'm sure hoping that high-speed internet continues to become cheaper and easier to access even in rural areas.